Hello and welcome back to another vlog. It is Sunday and as we speak I'm uploading last week's vlog. I was planning to take today off completely from vlogging. However, I feel like I'm in a really good mental space today and I have a lot of motivation to get my week going. So for that reason I decided I'm gonna vlog. Um, the accountability of vlogging is super helpful for me to actually get the things done that I want to get done. Um, and I feel like without what I'm going to do today, this week would probably be a little bit of a replica of last week where I just ended up feeling pretty flat and feeling a bit disappointed in the work that I did and didn't get done and in my motivation levels and stuff. And of course that's all fine and well, we all have weeks like that, but knowing myself and knowing that I can get into a little bit of like a doom rut, um, I really want to curb that straight out of the gate. And so plan for today is to really just set myself up for success this week. Um, and knowing myself, I have a few areas where if I have structure prepped in them that I know that a lot of my like mood decay, I don't really know what to call it, will actually be avoided. And so for me, those areas, the, the big areas are my meals, having healthy meals prepped with all of the like fruits and veggies that I need, seeds, nuts, all of the protein, fats, all of it. Just like making sure that I'm getting my nutrients in. That is like such a game changer for me. My mood completely shifts. Like if I have just like a really quick lazy breakfast versus having something that is full of energy to begin my day. So we're gonna meal prep. We're gonna go grocery shopping and meal prep for the week. Um, and then I'm just gonna sit and journal and kind of identify what my goals are for the season, what success looks like for me right now, um, and then also just kind of process what are those other areas that I actually need to show up to myself more fully in in order to have a more grounded experience of my life at this moment. Um, and so yeah, I, I wanted to just begin this week with that, start on that high note, um, and hopefully that means that even if this week isn't perfect, because it won't be, because life isn't perfect, and even if I still have days where I feel quite lazy or feel quite unmotivated, that I can at least know that I am showing up to myself, that I'm doing my best, and that it'll all be okay. But yeah, I think I left last week feeling like very overwhelmed, and so just really want to get in front of that emotion and, and listen to it for sure, understand it for sure, but make sure it's not dictating my days. So yeah, thank you for being here. I'm excited to share another week with you guys and we will we will see what, what this week holds. It almost feels dumb how easy meal prepping is when I think about how positively it impacts my week. I'm always just like, why Why do I act like this is such a big deal? Why does this stress me out so much? But like going to the grocery store today, it wasn't very busy, traffic wasn't bad, which was shocking for a Sunday. Then I just got to sit in my kitchen all by myself and cook a few meals and now I don't have to do that for the rest of the week. That's so nice. So nice. So I already am feeling like a weight off my shoulders, which it's so funny. Sometimes I feel like adults are just really big toddlers and like you just have to treat yourself like a little baby sometimes and, and mom yourself into well-being. So I feel like I did a good job today. I'm giving myself like a little pat on the back, but now I'm just going to sit and journal for a little bit. Um, and I can already feel my brain like wanting to run away into like something mind numbing like scrolling or watching reality TV, both of which there's a, there's a time and a place for, but now is not that time or place. So for now I'm going to try to just journal a bit and kind of just reimagine 
this period of my life into what I, yeah, what I want, what I want for it. So, should be good. After some thought and reflection, I landed on four questions to journal about and those questions were What am I thankful for? What am I scared of? If money or success didn't matter, what would I be doing? And how can I practically move towards that now? Um, so yeah, after kind of journaling those questions, I'm realizing some inspiration inside of me that I feel like has just been kind of shoved to the side over the last two years. Um, and my goal for this week is honestly not to complete anything crazy or to make, to move leaps and bounds in any of those goals, but to simply like acknowledge that those desires exist within me and to start taking little baby steps towards them so tomorrow i am joe and i are gonna have like a little meeting for our week um and i'm calling it a meeting um just because it's we're gonna grab coffee with the intention of planning out what we need for ourselves this week what we need to do how we can hold each other accountable and all that kind of stuff and um yeah i'm feeling really hopeful not even just for this week, but just for where the direction that life is facing right now. Um, still a little bit overwhelmed by it, but I feel like I'm moving towards the giddiness of it as well. So I'm really thankful for that and really hopeful for what this week will give space to. Hello, happy Monday. I am just heading out the door, but before I did, I wanted to show my outfit. I have this shirt on from Mateau with this super beautiful trim detail all throughout and then on the sleeves as well with these really baggy trousers that I wore last week and then there's absolutely no way you're seeing those but my combats. Um, I'm about to go pick up Joe and we're gonna grab coffee and do some weekly planning and all that fun stuff. So it should be a fun day. I'm actually really looking forward to it. So today we sat at a coffee shop and we um, looked through neighborhoods in New York that we feel would fit our lifestyle and desires. We picked our top five. Yes. Sorry, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> He's learning. But our top five were Bed-Stuy. bed, -Stuy, bed -Stuy, Clinton, Clinton Hill. 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 Um, Frank, what, what were they? Um, upper or... Upper no, West no, no. Side. Upper West or East Side. Yeah. Harlem. And Long Island City. Uh, and like Park Slope. And Park Slope. So. Yeah. We picked our top five to try yeah. to narrow down. This is, a, this is like the kind of area we want to be in. Yeah. And our values for kind of yes. the area we want to live in are that it would be close enough in proximity to to like the action into the actual like to like Manhattan basically mm -hmm. but that it the neighborhood itself would have more of like a quiet neighborly feel um what else um yeah like the cultural community yep. in the neighborhoods i think community is something we're a little bit nervous for in yeah. moving to New York because there's so many people and it's kind of like how do I 
find my people amongst yeah. all these people. So definitely we want to be in a neighborhood where that is kind of easy. Yeah, but there's a couple neighborhoods where that's like Easier. a highlight of them is that they are a little bit more neighborly, a little bit more community driven, driven and inclusive in that way. And community and like culturally unique. Yes. Like the specific yes. neighborhoods. And so then, I mean, what was the one that was like, oh, we wanted it to be in a pretty area. Like if the architecture is nice, that would be a huge bonus, but it's not like a necessity. And then one that is a necessity for me and that we won't really focus on until we're actually looking for apartments is that we get natural light throughout the day. Yeah. And so, I don't know, it feels good to kind of narrow down. Like, I feel like for the last few months, we've just been like talking about all of this in theory and Joe will send me um, apartments pretty often, but I don't really have a very good grasp on like the geography of New York. And so now having a bit more of an idea of what we're looking for, now you know the five boroughs. <laughs> now I know the five boroughs. I was really embarrassed because I was like, I cannot move to the city without knowing the boroughs. Like people would ask me, where do you want to live in New York? And every single time I would just say Brooklyn. <laughs> but now I understand like a little bit more about the neighborhood. So that's nice. So I don't know. It feels like a big adult step for us, I feel. And the next big adult step is that we're going to go look at cutlery at Target. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 not cutlery, towels. We're going to get some <laughs> towels. <laughs> <laughs> so that I don't buy really expensive ones. Got home just a little bit ago and made this sweet potato with a chickpea and kale filling and then topped with a tahini mix. Um, it's one of my favorite meals, so I'm actually super excited to eat right now. Um, but yeah, it was a good afternoon. Um, Joe and I went to Target and we bought some towels. Um, I have really been wanting the Tekla towels, but they are just like expensive and not really a necessity like having expensive towels isn't a need at all for us so we just got these super cheap ones that are honestly pretty high quality um from target they were like five dollars each and we got i think four so we spent like 20 bucks not a bad deal then we just spent the rest of the day outside it's kind of nice out actually which it's just glorious it feels so good after such a cold winter um and then that little teaser of summertime that we had um but yeah i think i'm just gonna eat do a little bit of laptop work and then either throw on a film or read my book hello it is wednesday um i definitely did not vlog at all yesterday i had full intentions to but the night prior to that i did not sleep well and so i had a couple things going on in the morning and after that i just like went Went into standby mode, to be honest. I felt so out of it for most of the day. But I did start yesterday with um, a meeting with a future client. Um, we just mood boarded her session that is coming up in May. And that has me super, super inspired and super excited. Um, we'll definitely share a bit more of that process as we get closer to the date. Um, but for today, it's supposed to be nice out. And so I have a little bit of work I need to do this morning. Um, I just finished editing and sending out a session. And then next week, I'm going to Arizona for a wedding, to shoot a wedding. And so I just need to kind of gather all the final details for that. But then this afternoon, Joe and I are going to just go for a walk because it's supposed to be nice out so that'll be really nice and if you noticed I do have the overalls I talked about in my last video on so I wanted to give a quick little fit check so these are the Margaret Howell overalls I don't know if I can stand far enough back for you to get the whole fit but these I put these on and I have never felt more myself like these our piece of clothing that I put on and I was like, I can't wait to wear these well into my 30s. Like, I just think I'll, I think I'll wear them for a really long time. They're super beautiful, super comfy, perfect amount of bagginess, but still like good length. They're long on me, I need to get them hemmed, but I love them, I love them. So super excited about these. And then I just built, I like a tomato literally exploded all over my jacket that I was gonna wear. And so it's not warm enough to go out quite without long sleeve so I just have this blue sweater to throw on if it gets cold at all but yeah I am about to head out to a coffee shop to sit and do the rest of my work because I just work better when I'm not sitting in my own house so yeah I think it'll be a good day and 
we'll see, we'll see. This week has honestly been a lot more dull than I expected it to be, and that is not at all a negative thing. Um, my main goal this week was just to kind of get back into a rhythm and to feel a little bit more of a purpose. And in that sense, I feel like I am doing above and beyond, and so I'm, I'm content. But yeah, there's just not a lot of action happening this week, and so it's a little bit boring to like document it in any way. Um, but yeah, I'm dog sitting for the rest of the week, which will be fun. And that's why I was packing, going across town and a little staycation while I dog sit. Um, but yeah, otherwise I feel like I'm on the right track of where I'm wanting to be. And if you haven't watched anything else, then, then where I'm at is that I recently quit my job. And in a few months, I'm moving to New York with my boyfriend, Joe. And we have intentionally taken the summer off to be um kind of focusing in on our creative selves and with that i feel like i'm in a spot of asking do i want to be a photographer so I mentioned this in my last video i'm a photographer i've been doing photography casually since i was like 16 and more seriously in the last like two years um and now that we're moving I'm being presented with this kind of forced choice of do I want to continue being a photographer and if I do, in what sense. Um, so it's it's been challenging to realize that, you know, if we move, like, I can't just take all my clients with me, I can't just take the um, customer referrals from Sioux Falls and move them to New York. Um, and that leaves me in the spot of deciding, am I actually passionate about this? And what terrifies me about asking that question is that if I'm not, I genuinely have no idea what I would be doing with my life. Um, and overall, that's been kind of the intimidation that I felt like last week that felt a little bit more um, paralyzing almost. Um, whereas this week, I feel like I'm I'm starting to rediscover kind of what my passion was in the beginning of photography and rediscover why I do what I do, but I still don't really know how to make it something successful and sustainable long term to be because to be quite honest it's it's sustainable and it's doable here in Sioux Falls one because the cost of living is so much cheaper but then two because I live at home and I don't have these expenses that that I will have when we move to New York and so yeah I don't know I feel like I've just really been digging into is this what I want to do and if so how am I going to do it sustainably um, which I don't know. I feel like, I feel like maybe more than I realize people don't know what they're doing with their lives, but it's, it's hard to feel like there's any solidarity in that 
that like frustration because I mean all you really see is like the highlight reel of all the people around you it's not like anybody's posting on social media like I'm having a quarter life crisis I don't know what to do with myself I'm un unsure of what my skill set is and what I want to do for a living um, but those are the questions that are in my head and those are the questions that I'm really actually so thankful that I have space to be asking and kind of digging into the answers for because quite frankly I have genuinely not a single clue what I'm doing with myself and I there are moments when that feels really freeing to be like I have no obligation to do anything because because I don't know what I'm doing with myself um, and there's moments where that feels really debilitating and where I've shed quite a few tears of just being like am I ever gonna know what I'm doing with myself like am I ever gonna know what path in life I want to take and Last week I was feeling more of the latter. This week I'm feeling a little bit more empowered by the fact that I don't know what to do and, and really trying to take it and see it as an opportunity to discover something fresh about myself or to listen to myself in a way that I wouldn't have had space to do otherwise. Um, but yeah, I, I, I just feel a, a really strange mix of emotions as I consider like, as I'm building up all my practical things for the summer, um, all my contracts and gallery systems and emails and da 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 da. Feeling like, okay, I'm starting to remember why I do this and it's because I love people. I really love people and I think through photography I get the chance to hear people's story and to respond visually and to show people that they're listened to by creating a visual that, that shows that I've heard them. Um, that's why I do what I do and I love it and it's it's wonderful but there's also yeah just the fear of if if I'll ever have enough clients to go full-time or if people will pay the prices that I charge or so many fears with it as well and so I'm I feel like I'm smack dab in the middle of all of the like excitement and fear and whatever and I thought that I had kind of surpassed that a couple like a year or two ago and um, I haven't and so that's where I'm at and I and I am okay with that right now. Maybe next week I won't be again, but right now I'm okay with being in that kind of confused, unsure state. Um, but yeah, it's... I don't even know how I got onto that ramble, but I know I want to keep it within the vlog just because this is what the vlog is about for me is is having these like honest thought process moments. Um, one for people to know that like I think I think more than we realize people are are thinking these things but then too for me to be able to look back on when I know that one day I will eventually like have some sort of idea figured out and and to be able to come back to this and to remember what it felt like in this moment and to see how far I've come and so yeah I don't know that was a lot of ramble and I'm not even sure what my conclusion out of it is but seven minutes is is far too long for me to have been chatting so um yeah yeah we will continue to i will continue to be processing through that question and we'll see if i have any any clarity on it by the end of the week from our friend's little pop-up cafe. If you don't follow or know Daylily, you should find them on Instagram and follow them and figure out when they have their next pop-up and go and visit them. Or order their coffee online. Their coffee and their pastries are top-notch and I debated if I was going to mention them because I said it to them today too. I don't want them to get so busy that like we have to wait in line for an hour. You should go to Daylily, but we're, we got Ethiopian pour-overs. And they're real good. So good. It is like my biggest coffee recommendation in Sioux Falls. So and now we are just gonna try our pastries from them. We got um, we got this plum tart 
on the right. I don't know what side it is on the screen. This one is the plum tart and it has little glitter on it and it is so good. And then we got this like bun. That like, what rhubarb, is it? A rhubarb custard bun. Rhubarb, cu rhubarb custard with hibiscus glaze. glaze. So this is your sign. It's gonna be good. Go get day lily. But now we're just gonna sit on the couch. <laughs> we're gonna sit on the couch and watch um, the show Beef on Netflix. We're three episodes in and we're gonna try to finish it today. So. All right, we're in the same spot we were how many hours ago? A few. 10 hours ago. 10 hours ago, except for we've now watched five more episodes of Beef. Um, tried to go out with some friends for the night and then um, had to return back to the residence we're staying at because the neighbors called the police because the dog was barking, which I don't have words for because I've already said them, but yeah, so now we're gonna continue watching Beef. We have two episodes left yep. and we just got a bottle of wine. Um, and we're gonna drink that, Pinot Noir. You definitely chose it for the label. And um, yeah, that'll probably be it for this week's vlog because it's currently Saturday and this will be going up Sunday. So we'll show you the the big the big barker who I don't know, I haven't heard him bark once since I've been here, so I can't imagine he barked for two hours, but here he is. Walter. This is Walter. And he's a good boy. Aren't you buddy? Mm -hmm.